how to get approval from somebody like a property manager or owner. First, I will show you how to get approval for an estimate. This is when the estimate has already been created. On the left hand side, select maintain. And you'll scroll down, select estimates. At the top of the page, you'll see my estimate was created to repaint the entire house with the status of new. Select that work order number. Now you will see that Hank Hill is my owner. For the estimate to repaint the house, you will see the expenses for the paint as well as the labor. At the very bottom, you'll see how much I will pay and how much I would charge out. Let's get approval from the owner, Hank Hill, before the work should be completed. As you can see in the right hand corner, a notification was sent out and now the status is pending approval. Right now, the default contact method for Hank is email. Hank will receive an email with this information asking if he will confirm or deny this approval. Let's show you what Hank's email looks like. Here is the request for approval. As you can see, if it provides the work order number, the description, and then Hank has the option to download the PDF if he would like more information about the estimate. If he were to deny the estimate, the status would change to denied. At this time, let's go ahead and approve that estimate. As you can see, it has been recorded. And if we go back to PM Tool Belt and refresh the page, the status has now changed to approved as Hank has said yes to the estimate to repaint the entire house. Let's show you what getting approval looks like from the work order. If I were to go under maintain and select work orders, once you have created your work order and you choose if you would like to add any tasks or notify anyone, you will want to select at the bottom of the page, get approval as you would like to get approval about the potential cost it may be for this work order. I would like to get approval from my owner, Hank Hill. Select Add. Now you can see there was a request sent to Hank Hill. Let's show you what that looks like. Here is a work order asking for approval. Hank has three options to download the PDF, to deny the work order, or approve the work order. If he were to select deny, the status of the work order would show up as denied. If he wanted more information, he could download the PDF. At this time, I will select approve. And if I were to go back into the work order page and refresh, you will see the status is now changed to approved, but still needs to be scheduled. And that is how you get approval for a work order or estimate.